Hey everyone, I'm Adam Kelly. In this video, I'm going to switch things up a bit. We've been doing a lot of Unity ML Agent stuff over the past few videos, and I really wanted to get back into some Blender, Synthetics, and Computer Vision stuff. So I wanted to come up with a cool project to try, and something I've wondered for a while is what effect video processing versus still image processing has on neural networks and their effectiveness. So what I mean by that is a lot of times you train your neural network on still images. So for example, uh, the big neural networks that are out there are typically trained on the Coco data set, which is a lot of digital photos of objects. So pictures of cars and people and fruit and things like that but they're all still images. They're not captures from frames in a video. And so when you go and try and run these neural networks on a video, sometimes you don't get super great results. It doesn't appear to be quite as good as on a still image. And I think that that might be because in a video, you typically have blur, motion blur from when the camera is moving or from when an object is moving relative to the camera. And so you can see a difference here between two images. One is taken with just a camera on my phone, just the still image, and you can see that it's really crystal clear. The other image is actually a snapshot from a video frame, and I don't remember exactly. I think this may have been taken at a pretty low frame rate intentionally so that I didn't have to process as many frames when I was doing the neural network detection on it. But you can see that the blur there is pretty significant. And so I've wondered if taking a, uh, you know, a, a neural network and training it up on frames from a video would actually make it perform a lot better on video, which is typically the way that neural networks end up being run anyway. So my approach here is going to be to use synthetics to try this out. I'm going to use Blender. And my idea is to take some images of uh, different, I'm gonna make a few 3D models, just a few simple models, and try to render them out as still images and then also as video images. So Blender has the ability to do some uh, motion blur effects and things like that when you render out a video, or by default, it just renders them as still images. So it's kind of perfect for this. We can render out the exact same scene and try it out as still images and blurry images, which is something that's very difficult, if not impossible, to do with a real-world camera. And then we can also render out training images with blur or without blur. And I, I might even try it with blur that's kind of faked. So rather than rendering it with blur, I would render it just still and then do some post-processing, like some augmentation that blurs it a certain amount. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for this project. And rather than try and just do it all, because it seems like it's kind of a large thing, I would do what I did before uh, where I was sharing my progress uh, sort of as a devlog for my ML Agents project. I'm going to try and do that and share my progress along the way. So if you have any ideas that you are interested in seeing me try out, definitely comment and let us know how, you know, how we might be able to incorporate those ideas. I'm going to try and keep it really simple so that I don't accidentally create this project that takes me months to complete. Um, and so hopefully I'll have some updates, you know, every week or every two weeks uh, and share the progress along the way. So as always, thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to hearing from y'all.